People often think that globalization and digitization are opposing forces. When the COVID pandemic began to gather force in early 2021, governments closed borders and air travel ground to a halt. Some commentators viewed this as deglobalization and heralded the start of a new era where the level of global travel and tourism is dialed down severely. However, this is again equating globalization with just one form of global flows, which is the movement of people across national boundaries. In fact, what happened during the pandemic lockdown? people increased exponentially their virtual interactions with colleagues, suppliers, customers, using web conferencing systems like Zoom. Now, Zoom is a web conferencing service provider based in the USA. If we are using its services in the UK, then that counts as a service export from the USA to the UK. So, the COVID pandemic, while dampening one form of flow, global flow of people, increased another flow, global flow of services. In fact, digitization and globalization complement each other. One feeds the other. Capital, goods, services, and ideas, all these global flows can be turbocharged with digitization. The impact of digitization on the business landscape has been profound. Commentators have rushed to pronounce their verdict on this impact. The consensus amongst the expert is that the digital has already disrupted and displaced the physical and going forward, the pace of disruption and displacement is only going to increase. But is the reality that straightforward? We suggest here that the reality is more complex and nuanced. Somewhat paradoxically, in certain cases, the physical has become more desirable because of digitization. In other instances, the physical and digital have intertwined so tightly that it has created its own dynamics, distinct from the constituent physical and digital elements.